Hey guys, since the last video I have finished knitting the snowflakes and today I will show you how to finish the leg and start with the heel. The last design of the leg is the M3 design. So start by knitting one round in your base color. In the next round, knit one stitch in your base color, then one stitch in the contrast color and repeat. As in the video before, I'm using the English knitting style to knit the contrast color and the continental method to knit the base color.
Continue knitting design M3 until you have knitted all 11 rounds. After that we will start with the heel. You want the beginning of the round to be in the center back of the heel. So first knit in your base color until you reach the beginning of the fourth needle. That is where we will start knitting the boomerang heel. The heel is knitted across the stitches of the first and the fourth needle. Before we start knitting, slip the last two stitches of the third needle onto the fourth needle and the first two stitches of the second needle onto the first needle. These four stitches will not be part of the heel stitches, so we won't actually knit them, but having them on those heel needles will help avoid gaps and holes that you usually get before and after a short row heel. The boomerang heel is knitted in the contrast color, so next change colors. Slip the first two stitches, since they are not heel stitches, but the stitches that we just transferred from the third needle. Knit across the next two needles, in my case I am knitting 34 stitches, since I have casted on 17 stitches per needle. I'm leaving a bit of a tail, so that I can later sew the ends in properly.
The last two stitches are the slipped stitches, so turn right before them. Now we will make our first double stitch. Slip the stitch as if to purl and pull on your yarn until you get a double stitch. Then purl across the rest of the heel stitches. Again, the last two stitches are not heel stitches, so turn. Make another double stitch, so slip as if to knit, then pull on the yarn until you get a double stitch. Knit until you get to the last double stitch. This looks a bit strange on this side since I haven't sewn in the strand of the contrast yarn yet. I like to wait with that until I've finished the heel because that way in the end I can readjust the tension a bit to close up small gaps. As you can see, this is the double stitch that we made in our last back row, so turn and make another double stitch. So, always make one double stitch, then knit or purl until you get to the last double stitch and turn.
The boomerang heel is a heel that is divided into three parts as you go. You might remember this from my previous videos. In this case I have 34 heel stitches in total, so I'm dividing the heel stitches into sections of 11, 12 and 11 stitches. I will continue making double stitches at the beginning of each row until I have 11 double stitches, then 12 normal knit stitches and lastly another 11 double stitches. In the next video I will show you what that looks like and also how to finish the rest of the heel. I hope you liked this video, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.